Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another Free the Peace Friday episode. And by the looks of it, this might be boring to you, but I think it's going to be fun because this is a Matchbox light and sound vehicles from the Matchbox action system. And this is supposed to light up and it's supposed to make noise. And it does kind of make noise. Let me see if you can hear that. So I have to take it off camera. You can look at that Superman for a second. I have no idea if that's coming across on camera or not. But as you can tell, the battery has worn out on this thing for sure. Um, but anyway, we're going to do the super van here. Uh, I just wanted to show you an example of this one. This is one of my favorite Matchbox uh, castings ever, is this Ford super van. If you're a van fan, um, you got to love this super van. There's a bunch of different variations out. This particular one has a metal base, metal body. There's no interior in this thing. But it's just a super cool casting, the super van 2. Pretty awesome. And then Hot Wheels does the original super van, Ford super van. So it's kind of a cool little pair. Uh, but just wanted to show you this. It's just a regular deco one. And then they have adapted it for this lights and sound thing. Uh, this thing came out, uh, copyright date is 1996. I'm going to zoom out just real quick so you can see the uh, the back of the car in a bit. Action system. Looks like a lot of fun stuff to play with there. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take this one out. Now when I said this is going to be fun, it's going to be fun because I think what we're going to do is attempt to see what the inside of this thing looks like. It looks like it's got a screw in the base. And uh, yeah, it's trying to make noise. It's got a plastic base. Um, obviously, it's a blister pull, so it's in really good shape. I think we should be able to take this apart and possibly see how easy it's going to be to change a battery in it. I don't think that this necessarily was meant to ever have the battery changed. Uh, but we're going to check it out. So, well, first let's take a look at the outside of the vehicle before we start tearing this thing apart, just in case I can't get it back together right on camera. So it looks pretty good. Number seven on there, Matchbox EMS. Um, again, plastic base. I like those Matchbox wheels. I think they're kind of cool. Um, the odds of me actually having the right battery here are probably pretty slim, but we'll find out. So we're going to unscrew the base. It's one screw and then it hooks it in the back. There's a look at the the screw. Just a basic Phillips head screw and the base should pop off. It's like hooked into the back. Okay. Alright, so here's the base itself. You can see the suspension mechanism which is just a piece of metal right across. Nice and shiny piece of metal. And There's the suspension travel there. Kind of clever how these wheels are actually in here. You can pop them right out. Just like that. And then put them right back in, hopefully. Just like that. So there's your base. And then here is your mechanism that makes the lights and sound. Right here. So you push on the wheel. The wheel makes contact with that plate. Not sure if you're hearing that. Um, it's barely audible right now because the battery is completely dead. So we'll set that aside for a second. We will take that apart in just a moment. And then here's the body and then of course the uh, window piece which is riveted in and then this other piece in the front which makes up the front grille. So there you have it. But what we're interested in, right, is this guy right here. So, how do we think? So, there's the bat. I can tell where the battery is. It's right there. So, I wonder if this thing just kind of pops off. I don't want to break it, but um, let's go ahead and see. Oop very carefully here okay so you see the couple of wires that are connecting to this this is the speaker 
There's your little printed circuit board. Uh, that little black dot on there is the integrated circuit that makes it possible uh, for the magic to happen here. I think we may have to pull... Hmm, how are we going to get that out of there? We may have to pull this whole unit out of the plastic. I want to do it carefully because I do not want to break anything. Oh, and we can't just pull it straight out because the LEDs are soldered right here down to the board, down to the board. So basically it's this thing right here that's stopping the battery from coming out. So maybe what we can do is just bend it up a bit so that the battery falls out. Ooh, and it's two batteries. Okay. It is two batteries. These are L1131s, which I believe cross-references to a 389 battery. I don't think I've got one. I've got a 357. You can see it's pretty corroded in there. I'm going to go ahead and pause this real quick and see if I have that battery. I might. I've got a lot of little kids toys that take these small batteries. I may, you know, not for myself, obviously for my children. Um, I may have them. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to pause here and uh, I'll be right back. Okay. I could not find, I do not have this battery, so I have something similar. I've got a 357, but it's too tall. I'm not going to be able to stack up two in there, I don't think. We might try that, but I decided to uh, go ahead and test uh, these two batteries here, because it is just corroded, right? And depending on where we put our leads, there we get 1.4 volts there. It's a negative because I got the positive on the negative here and the negative on the positive doesn't really matter. Just displays the number in verse 1.44 and 1.41. These actually aren't really dead. Um, these batteries are 1.5 volt batteries and these are barely dead. So miraculously in the package, uh, they lasted quite a long time. Uh, so my concern is probably with this corrosion. So I got just a tiny piece of sandpaper here. We're going to try to wipe some of this off. We're definitely going to wash our hands when we're done with this. I'm sure this whatever chemical uh, makes up this battery. It's probably not, um, you know, safe to ingest. But uh, we're going to go ahead and try to clean up this battery surface a little bit and see if we can get this thing working I, off of the old batteries that have been sitting in the package since, you know, for a long time. What was the date on that thing? I mean, like 25 years ago, this thing, right? So that surface looks pretty decent. This surface looks good. So this, this one battery looks pretty good. It's always the bottom battery battery towards the negative side that gets corroded typically um, <clears throat> let's go ahead bending this up just a little bit we're gonna see if we can sneak some sandpaper in the side of this thing it's too bad I could desolder these two um, LED points and we could go ahead and uh, and uh, pull the whole circuit board out it would make it a lot easier I'm just taking this little tiny piece of sandpaper and just moving it around as best I can with the uh, Phillips screwdriver. We want a nice flat surface. I'm going to have a different square of this stuff uh, to go ahead and do this with. Uh, without that flat surface, ooh, what was this cardboard piece from? That was probably an insulating piece from something. We might have to find out where that went and replace it. I don't know. But let's scrape, 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 scrape. And I believe the batteries at the voltage they are at. I think should power this thing. If they don't, I got one other thing we can try. And I'm sorry if this vid's boring for you guys. This is definitely not a typical Free the Piece Friday episode. Getting into electronics. There's just one piece of corrosion on here that's really stubborn. And I'm scraping it and scraping it and scraping it. And it appears that we're making good contact. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to stack these two back up in here. And then bend this back over. Actually, I'm just going to hold it for now. Well, what are we going to do to do this? The trouble with this now is that I've bent this thing 
and to get it to actually make good contact, we're going to have to yeah, maybe do that. I think we might have decent contact there. Now uh, we'll take our multimeter here, set on DC voltage. I can't see the meter, but it looks like we were getting something. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, we're overranging it. That's good because I only had it set on two volts. And this is a cheapo multimeter. It does not auto range. Just going on the two solder points of the circuit board to see if we can get the voltage. Okay, 2.89 volts. Um, I don't know if that's going to be enough, but uh, hey, it is enough. Eventually, it's not very loud. Eventually, I'm going to want to replace the batteries. I think it might even be louder if the batteries are brand new. Brand new, these batteries should be at like 1.6 some volts or, you know, ish. And due to them being old, they probably built up some internal resistance and may not be able to pass current through them as fast as they would <laughs> normally. But I think that's going to work. I wonder where this piece came from. Is it sitting underneath here? I'm just going to stick it under there. I think that's where it came from. I'm not sure if it's an insulator or if it's just a spacer to make sure that this thing makes contact with the wheels. All right. I think we got something working here. That's fantastic. It's about as good as we could expect. Let's go ahead and put it back in. Just sits right in there. Really easy to do. And let's put our base back on. Ooh, it actually sounds a lot better when it's in the thing. Because that sound kind of bounces off of the plastic in there. And we'll put our screw back in there. Check that out. Should we see what it looks like in the dark? Okay, nerds. that annoying you yet <laughs> i don't know man pretty cool whatever all right so there's an interesting free the piece friday for you guys a uh, little out of the ordinary today uh but definitely check out the playlist of you know free the piece friday and again i encourage you to go ahead and free your pieces uh post them to instagram post them to facebook tag me message me that you did it whatever uh, show me what cars you're opening up I definitely encourage you to enjoy your collection, get your cars out in the open, um, and just, yeah, have some fun with them, right? So there you go. Yep, that's wacky. That's cool. I'm glad we were able to get it to work, though. And I'm guessing that uh, if I do replace the batteries in it, it'll probably be a bit louder, uh, which I might do. I might not. We'll see. All right. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have yourself a good day.